So yeah, I was teasing this one from, oh, what was that, Wednesday or something? Yeah, oh, we gotta talk about the meltdown, the absolute fucking nuclear meltdown. The only time that you'll hear, hear nuclear come out of a Democrat's mouth, especially when it comes to, well, what happened in Virginia earlier in the week. So the seven stages of grief, MSNBC and CNN hosts ripped for meltdown over Young Can Win. They were having a... They were having a real one, okay? All of them. Van Jones, Joy Reid. There was some, I don't know, relative or moderately attractive MSNBC host who was just going off about CRT and it's not real. Stop talking about it. The misinformation and lies is our gimmick and you're fucking stepping all over our platform. <laughs> It was, it's been so glorious to watch and catalog and I'll be able to share just a, a little glimpse of uh, what we've seen so far and it's just kind of setting everything up for, for uh, 2022 and makes me happy at least. Commentators on MSNBC and CNN were ripped on social media Wednesday for having meltdowns over the results of Glenn Youngkin pulling off the stunning upset against Terry McAuliffe and become uh, the first Republican to lead the state in more than a decade. Late Tuesday, uh, yes, Youngkin beat McAuliffe by 2.1 points uh, when 99% of the votes were counted and the victory was met with shock. Yeah, by people who think that they're right on literally everything. Not like, not physically right, it's just um, mentally another aspect we could touch on. But without being even more childish than we need, we need to, or at least maybe we'll just save it up a little bit. But yeah, meant with shock and venom on MSNBC by commentator Joy Reid, who called the candidate dangerous and racist. As opposed to the dangerous racist Terry McAuliffe? Like, what? Okay, cool. These Republicans are dangerous. Why they make you sad? Michael Clark Duncan in a wig. That this isn't a party. That's just another political party that disagrees with us on tax policy. Oh, really? At this point, they're dangerous. Reed rallied alongside Rachel Mancow. Dude, um, just a question. Um, I wonder if Joy Reed could actually lay out the tax policy of Joe Biden's administration or maybe even Terry McAuliffe's if we were feeling extra spicy. Probably not. They're dangerous to our national security. Like, you give a fuck. Uh, because stoking that kind of soft white nationalism that uh, MSNBC having a real one eventually leads to the hardcore stuff. It leads to the January 6th stuff. Yeah, where you guys end up shooting somebody who's on your ideological opposite. All right. Reed warned that a vote for Youngkin, who has been outspoken against teaching critical race theory in schools, would open the floodgates to hardcore racism. I think continuing to teach critical race theory would open up the floodgates to hardcore racism, but you do you. On CNN commentator Van Jones, ugh, old white lash himself, uh, questioned if Youngkin's victory is the emergence of the Delta variant of Trumpism. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Should wear a mask. Cellophane one. Goes from ear to ear. Covers both face holes. Uh, he later tweeted uh, Wednesday that Republican win across the nation would be a wake up call to Democrats. <laughs> oh my god. Rolling through a nitroglycerin factory when a fucking dead of night wouldn't wake these dumb cunts up. Uh, the whole idea of this anti-Trump resistance being the only rationale for us uh, as a party is over. I'm glad you realize it. Now you should just tell everybody else because, yeah, no, it's still orange man bad right now. Do we have to go back up and uh, bring up what, fuck, even you just said? It's the Trump, ver it's the Delta variant of Trumpism. Okay. What is their rationale going forward? Oh, what do progressives need to do differently? Literally everything. How much time he got? Conservative radio host Buck Sexton compared the reaction to MSNBC to the seven stages of grief. Fair. MSNBC is currently going through the seven stages of grief on the entire... Oh, on an endless loop in real time. Maybe it might actually make for compelling viewing and they can get their ratings out of the shitter. It's great. Highly recommend. Exactly. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Ann Coulter was asked for comment. If you want to give yourself a treat, turn on MSNBC 
or go down and buy a bunch of carrots. A hand definitely approves. One Twitter user shared a graphic of former President Donald Trump's face and nuclear cloud writing your tears are delicious with the hashtag red wave. Yeah, it was probably, I don't know, fucking Kathy something or other. It sounds like some real boomer shit. But what else did we have? Well, we had um, a, a, a sitting member of Congress, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee from Texas, who authored the gun control bill, which is currently stalled out in Congress right now. Uh, she's, um, I would say radical, but I'd also be leaving out incredibly stupid. But yeah, no, she's a Democrat in the House. Virginia was about parental issues and racism raised its ugly head. What? Okay. And oh, I, I'm not going to tie the result to Democrats, even though they all lost. You're very smart. You're very smart. On Wednesday's broadcast of CNN's At This Hour, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee said the Virginia gubernatorial election was about local issues. <laughs> okay. Those were about parental issues, and unfortunately, racism reared its ugly head, and the Republican candidate used it very aptly. Like what? Can you, can you point to anything, or you just like to wake up in the morning and go, Oh, something's racist today. And she isn't going to tie the result in Virginia to Democrats or anything we did here in Washington. Literally, it's basically become a glorified suburb of the expanding federal government that's in Washington, D.C. Like, do, do you know that? You probably have a condo in Virginia, you fucking moron. Uh, Jackson Lee said, I really define Virginia as a case that was about local issues. Those were about parental issues, and unfortunately, racism reared its ugly head, and the Republican candidate used it very aptly. He followed the Trump playbook. Again, though, uh, it's time to stop and just really assess where we're going as a party. Okay, cool. Uh, use race and get a win. And that's very sad. Literally, that's what you guys do, okay? If you, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. But as soon as a Republican's like, oh yeah, we should probably stop teaching like this really divisive shit. No, you're being racist. Stop. Why are you being so racist? And it's like, okay. I'm not going to tie that to the Democrats or anything. Yeah, because you guys overwhelmingly lost. And the ones who lost, what were they? Democrats? Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't reflect on Democrats. I, I don't know how you can say that with with a straight face oh right you have like a 60 iq or anything we did here in washington i'm well going to tie that uh, to continuing to try to work to promote the beloved community that martin Lu uh, martin king and john lewis talked about who's martin king maybe he thinks that was the surname of um martin lawrence's character back on a sitcom way back in the day Anyways, yeah, what about celebrities? Yeah, they're also having a real one because of course they are. Hollywood celebrities panic after Republicans win big. We're fucked. Enjoy the last year of Democrat control. Uh, I won't, but I'm looking forward to the end of it. Well, let's see who they have here. Or uh, uh, Hollywood celebrities let loose a collective wail of despair. Yeah, the uh, Rosie was asked for comment, and so it was Josh or Josh Gad um, of despair after Republicans won big on Tuesday's election uh, with Glenn Youngkin handily beating former uh, Governor Terry McAuliffe for the race of Virginia Governor. Uh, stars should be in several brackets, including Rosie O'Donnell, Cher, we'll get to her exclusively because that fucking fossil is, <laughs> she's having an all-timer right now, Amber Tamblin, all right, again, stars, Jeffrey Wright, Sophia Bush, Bradley Whitford, and Rosanna Arquette, I know like three of those names express their panic and anger at the electoral trouncing. We are fucked, said a dropout from the Sylvan Learning Center, uh, and apparently distraught O'Donnell tweeted, Oh, I'm gonna have to make more Donald Trump finger paintings. We're fucked. Fascism is alive and well in America, Arquette declared. Oh, shut up. Uh, to be fair, though, she might be just um, talking about the, the mandates of the Biden administration. Oh, no, no, she wouldn't. Uh, in addition to the Virginia victory, anti-critical race theory candidates won in school board elections throughout the country in an overwhelmingly rebuke of Democrats' efforts to impose race essentialism on young children. No, it's not real. It doesn't happen. Stop saying it. Then why are you, if it's not real, why are you so upset? Whee! Tuesday's election was widely seen as a referendum on Joe Biden, uh, who popularity has plummeted to new lows. God, it's never a good, it's never not a good time to bring up his f absolutely abysmal, ab 
abysmal approval ratings. A recent NBC poll shows that 71% of Americans feel the country is headed in the wrong direction, with Biden's approval rating sinking to 42%. Could even be lower by the time that you guys are watching this, so who knows? Uh, maybe reminisce about those times when he was actually in the 40s when it comes to improvement. HBO's, okay, I don't know what this is. I know this much is true. Stars Rosie O'Donnell. Wait, what? That's, um, okay. Uh, who endorsed Biden. No shit. Wouldn't you also be having a mental breakdown if literally your most public bully of all time got elected president? Uh, to be fair, you know what? I can kind of, I can kind of understand her mental breakdown. Admitted her uh, defeat early on Wednesday. We are fucked. Uh, she replied to MSNBC pundit Malcolm Nance. I literally, if you were to ask me nine people who work for MSNBC or you get a 45 to the back of the head, I would just hope that it goes in one side and out the other and that it's a smooth transition into the ethereal plane. But yeah, what about Cher? Because she got some tweets there, but um, um... I'm starting to think old Sonny Bono was really aiming for that uh, tree and he knew exactly what the fuck was coming because she is losing her mind. Cher freaks out after Youngkin election. GOP are Nazis. Well, nice fresh take. What did you just fucking dig that up from 2001? We'll make America a whites only club. Um, somebody should really tell her who was elected to be the uh, lieutenant governor of Virginia because that might ruin her. Maybe that'll be the uh, snap in her head that she finally needs. But left wing pop star. OK, what is this? The 60s uh, share uh, posted an unhinged all caps. Uh, that's all she does, though. And she uses more hieroglyphics in a Smithsonian exhibit. So take it with a uh, bucket of salt in, uh, tweets. Uh, Tuesday night warning that Republicans take power. It'll <sighs> you can even write B. You fucking tard. Uh, total power, it's whites only club and BLM, LGBT, Jews. I think Trump's daughter and son-in-law might have a thing to say about that. But anyways, Asians, minorities are in German style peril. I don't know what you mean. I think this current iteration of Germany is fairly inclusive. So you're going to have to be a little bit more specific. Held my tongue long enough, but fuck it. Moji exclamation marks. Do Dems need a house to fall on their sisters before they see what's coming? I know what the C stands for. Uh, Cher said, uh, just as Glenn Youngkin was being declared winner over Democrat Terry McAuliffe. And Cher would be crying, but I think that she closed up those tear ducts thanks to Botox injections in the, what, in the late 90s. More than an hour later, clearly still in a good headspace, um, I share bemoaned, sorry, the Democrats failing to pass Joe Biden's legislative agenda and called Republicans Nazis. Yeah, very original. Joe works tire tirelessly 30 minutes a day uh, to work with Kong. What? It's not a very nice thing to call Kamala Harris and pass bills to help everyday Americans. And he's hit. From Dems on right and left, they cause gridlock while GOP sits and plan how to pick our bones clean if we fail. Not if, when. Uh, GOP are Nazis in lockstep. It's difference between democracy and dictatorship. She's claiming that there's infighting within the party and then says that the GOP are totally united and then that's a dictate. Okay, cool. You're trying to make a rational argument out of a clearly irrational person. Why am I wasting my time? Meanwhile, Virginia voters elected uh, Winsome Sears, Lieutenant Governor, making her the first black woman to hold a statewide office. Sears, born in Jamaica, is a United States Marine Corps veteran. Yeah, that just means that she isn't black anymore. Okay, Jason Miares, hey, the son of an immigrant, uh, was elected Attorney General. Oof, God. She doesn't look real. That looks like a wax painting. Uh, he's the Commonwealth's first Latino elected statewide official. Okay, Terry McAuliffe refused to concede while... Uh, he's since conceded because it's just a, it's a losing cause at this point. Uh, it's just a couple months ago, the Joe Biden campaign surrogate uh, was comparing Republicans to Nazis. Yeah, it's literally the only thing that they have. I pray we go. Okay, cool. Uh, punctuation. Punctuation. Okay. Because like Hitler destroyed Germany from within. No, I think Germany's still around, but okay. Uh, soon will GOP destroy democracy, comma, ampersands. America from within dot piss. I pray boosters are a lifeline. 
stick to singing other people's songs, okay? Okay. This is why you should really do your own research and not just fucking bite down on the blue pill, the black pill, or any of that kind of stuff. Because, hey, if you, if you take this shit a little bit too seriously, you'd miss out on the unhinged madness of celebrities and the fucking leftist talking heads. And I find it fun. Hopefully you guys did as well. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. We'll catch you back with live coverage starting tomorrow. As always, not going anywhere. Unless you, you know what, hey, YouTube wants to say otherwise, but I'll be on Rumble, be on Odyssey, wherever else you want to find me. I'm not that hard to find unless you try to get a hold of me on social media because fuck that. And we'll leave it there. I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.